So uh, before we start the video discussion, uh, I just want to show that I actually bought one of the promotional posters of like uh, one of the local sellers in Singapore. It has the message from Oda at the back, and I really, really love that I have this now. I'm gonna hang it on the wall or something. This is cool. Anyway, hello everyone. My name is Ash of Chaz, and welcome back to yet another One Piece card game video. Um, today we're gonna talk about the different types of cards that already exist that we know of in the One Piece card game, as well as whether or not we will be getting any sort of like effect cards moving forward. Uh, we are still a few days away. I'm gonna be posting this video on the 27th, so there's two more days to the preliminary event in Japan. I'm not sure what to expect from the event itself, uh, whether or not we'll be getting any more information. Let's hope we get some sort of rules, some sort of gameplay, and I am hoping that the Japanese players over there post some photos or videos on social media so that we can take a look. I would love to see what kind of cards they are going to bring for the event. I'm super excited for it. It's only two days away. I know the One Piece community, or at least the One Piece card game community, has been uh, starved for information so far. So hopefully we'll be getting uh, some information soon. Now, also the recent episode 1015 of One Piece just dropped. If you have not watched it, please go and watch it. It's, it's literally a work of art. Anyway, if you enjoyed this discussion video and you kind of like the content that I do, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing if you can. Thank you so much for helping the channel reach 500 subscribers. I will definitely try my best and keep on going as much as I can. So we already know that there are three types of cards that have been revealed to us. First of all, we have the leader cards. Secondly, the character cards. And lastly, the dawn cards itself. Now the leader is the uh, so-called the face of your deck, the one that mostly your deck is based on and uh, maybe deck building restrictions would have something to do with the leader's color identity, we don't know. Uh, then secondly, we have character cards. I assume that characters will have abilities in the future. And also the characters and your leaders uh, will be the main cards that are attacking your opponent's side of the field. And then lastly, we have the Dawn cards. Now, Dawn cards are assumed to be the main resource of the One Piece card game. It is a separate 10 card deck that is not included with the main deck. And all of the artwork so far from the Dawn cards itself is just manga panels. So I'm really excited to see more. I have been thinking about the manga panels I want to see. And the more I think about it, the more I'm excited for it. So hopefully we get um, more of it soon. Because like, imagine if it's your favorite manga panel. Let's say like Robin's I Wanna Live, but it's in a foil. Oh, it's gonna look so good. That got me thinking about the last type of card that might exist in this game. Now, following like the Digimon card game, as well as like other TCGs out there, uh, there's always like an effect card. In Magic the Gathering terms, it's something like the instants and sorceries. But for the Digimon card game, it's something like the option cards. Just for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to refer to these cards as effect cards because I don't know what terminology uh, they would use for the One Piece card game. So we're just going to call them effect cards for, for the time being, okay? Now, effect cards are usually like single use cards. You know, you, you play it, you pay for the cost of the card, and then the effect happens, and then you send it to the trash. It's usually what is in trading card games in general. There's always like an ebb and flow, and usually you need effect cards to kind of gain an advantage over your opponent. And I've been thinking about what cards could be featured on the effect card itself. And I think with the franchise of One Piece being so vast and huge, there's a lot of characters. And then there's also emphasis on the attacks that the characters use as well. Let's take like Luffy, for example. He has like a billion Gomu Gomu no attacks. What if there's an effect card that's like Gomu Gomu no Gatling, where like if you use it, maybe it can cost like three or four uh, resources and then each of your opponent's character cards gets minus 1000 power for the rest of the turn or something like that. So it, it kind of eliminates all the weaker character cards, um, but the the stronger ones would still stay on the board. Then you could have a more focused like single target attack like Gomu Gomu no uh, Red Hawk or something that could deal like 4000 uh, damage or minus 4000 power to a single target of your on your opponent's side of the field. I can see this kind of removal cards being used in the decks interchangeably and it creates sort of like an ebb and flow with your opponents like there's always back and forth you know like you're not only relying on the characters you're relying on these effect cards to kind of change the flow of the game 
with the Digimon card game based on what I've been seeing um, because it's a Bandai property the effects happen from like their security so maybe there are effects happening from when we reveal them from the live area or something or could it be something like Magic the Gathering where it's uh, you can activate it at instant speed so like maybe your opponent attacks and then you can use it to remove a threat on your turn during the opponent's combat I think that would be cool, like something like the Dragon Ball Super counter mechanic as well. And there's so, so many different moves, so like I've been thinking about uh, the types of uh, mechanics or like effects that other card game users, for, for example, like uh, Zoro's move, Santoryu, Rengoku, Onigiri, it it's like a one hit KO move, so it, it might cost a lot, maybe it costs like 5 or 6 uh resources to play but you can like destroy one target opponent's character card or something like that there's also like brook's attack i think it's called uh fubuki giri like blizzard slice you know freezing has an effect that uh taps down your opponent's uh, character cards and they are they are unable to attack until the end of their next turn or something like that you know it's a more of a delay or even effect cards that could return uh, character cards back to the hand now there's so many different aspects of it maybe even effect cards that could attack your opponent's dawn resource or mix make it so that your opponent's leaders can't attack for the next turn or something like that. there's so many different like abilities and there's so many different character moves that be, that can be used for these effect cards as well and i think there's like a whole um slew of uh, material that they can pull up from the anime and the manga uh, maybe it could just be a simple cast like Tony Tony Chopper the doctor uh, like Dr. Chopper who heals and you can recover one life or something like that I think it would be cool uh, to see cards like that you know have aggressive strategies have like healing strategies as well and I didn't do any custom cards for it this time because I kind of want to see if it's if this prediction is kind of correct in about two days so um, let's just wait and see I'm really excited for the preliminary event and I, I I think I can safely speak for the rest of the One Piece card game community that we are starved for information I've been scouring Twitter uh, all of the like you know leak pages that people uh usually follow on twitter and yeah there's nothing so far but there you go do you think that we might be getting a fight cards or do you think it will be something else entirely i actually have a few ideas on the different elements of one piece that can be used as cards but i'll talk about them in a future video i just want to see what they reveal during the preliminary event uh during the event itself and see what cards are revealed to us by then hopefully we get some juicy juicy information and i'll drop it as soon as i can on this channel for you guys to see until the next time thank you so much for watching this video take care of yourselves peace